what's up youtube it's your girl kid and i'm back with another video and in today's video we will be going over the best shooting badges in nba 2k21 next gen as we all know nba 2k21 next gen is a very very offensive dominant game and if you want to be able to compete and shoot lights out like everyone else you're going to need the best badges and all the tips and tricks for shooting and that's what we're going to be going over in this video today so the very first badge that i want to talk to you guys about is the blinders badge now this badge is fairly new they just released it for the next gen game and it is literally game breaking blinders unlocks the ability to do so much when it comes down to shooting it is unreal so this is a must have badge must have shooting badges if you are able to get it upgraded all the way up i highly recommend you using blinders on hall of fame or gold See, with the description it says jump shots taken with the defender closing out and their peripheral vision suffer a lower penalty so if you've ever been wondering oh if you you're contesting someone's shot and you're just like oh i was right there or when people get you crabbed and they're shooting lights out with you behind them and stuff like that it's because they have hall of fame blinders this badge will help you become an elite shooter the next must-have shooting badge is deep threes okay so deep threes is pretty much like limitless range how it was in the other two k's they just changed the name and to be honest you can honestly get away with just having deep threes on gold i use deep threes on gold on pretty much all of my builds and you can still shoot from pretty pretty far the next badge i want to talk about is hot zone hunter i highly recommend everyone putting on hot zone hunter once you get your hot zones and you and you equip the hot zone hunter badge you are going to see a great difference in the amount of greens that you shoot and the amount of shots that you make once you're shooting in one of your hot zones it is a very very important badge it's a must-have badge once you get your hot zones you better make sure you put on hot zone hunter and now the thing with hot zone hunter is the good thing about hot zone hunter is you really don't even have to have hot zone hunter that high you really don't have to even use it all the way on hall of fame you hot zone hunter is very very effective just on bronze or silver as long as you have your hot zones and the next badge right here is hot shot that's a new badge just just for the next gen 2k hot shot is a must need you have to put this badge on it just gives you a boost to your takeover every time you make a jump shot and it takes so long for you to get your takeover you might as you want to get as much boost as you possibly can every single time you hit a jump shot it's going to give your takeover a significant amount of boost and that's going to help you get hot and stay hot faster in the game another badge i want to talk to you guys about is the dead eye badge now i'm going to be fairly honest with you guys this year dead eye comparing it to blinders it is not what it used to be that is my opinion that's my opinion it's really not what it Kick used to be Santa. let me know what you guys think about dead eye in the comment section comparing that to blinders because in the beginning of the game i'm not even going to like basing basing it off the previous two k's i was like oh yeah i gotta have dead eye, i gotta have dead eye but then i took off dead eye completely stopped using dead eye completely and just used blinders on hall of fame and i promise you you can still hit dead eye shots without even having the badge on you can literally still shoot contested shots without using dead eye at all so i want you guys to keep that in mind i know a lot of people still use it as still a lot of people's go-to badge but i promise you if you have a high enough three point you really do not need dead eye you really don't need dead eye you really can get by with just blinders so a lot of people might disagree with me on that but i'm telling you i promise you you can just try it out test it out for yourself so if you want to still use dead eye if you're just pulling up in people's faces that's that's on you now another badge i want to talk to you guys about is the catch and shoot badge now i know a lot of people use catch and shoot and a lot of people rely on catch and shoot a lot of people rely on catch and shoot and corner specialist let's talk about those two badges right there now those two badges 
in my opinion, are good once your three point is not that high. If you get what I'm saying, like this game lets you upgrade your offense so much, especially if you know you're guard or power forward and stuff like that. So if you have that 85 or 90 and 90 plus three point, you do not need catch and shoot or corner specialist at all. You don't need it at all because you have that high enough three points. You really don't have to rely on using a catch and shoot boost or corner specialist boost. But if you have, if you're a big man or something like that, and you didn't upgrade your three point that high, like if you're in like a 70 or 80 and stuff like that, you just want a little boost and stuff like that. Then go ahead and go for catch and shoot or corner specialist. But I promise you, once you have that high high three point, you really don't need it. Need it need to depend on those badges like that so i would recommend if you're going to use them i would say either on bronze or silver it still gives you a significant amount of boost but me personally i don't use catch and shoot or corner specialist on my main shooting builds on my big man build i get a 83 point and i use catch and shoot on that build but i don't use corner specialist but th that's all my personal opinion and another good shooting badge still is Green Machine. Green Machine has been in the game before, and they brought it back this year. Green Machine still gives you that boost to your green window once you hit a certain amount of green releases in a row, which is good. Everybody, you want to see those big fat greens in the air. So i say if you are already good at timing your jump shot and getting greens consistently yes use green machine but if you struggle with timing your jump shot because the thing about green machine is once you don't green once you miss a shot or you don't green it your green machine stops working like you have to reset and restart the process all over again it's like you have to shoot like three green releases in a row to get it to activate so once you don't green you have to start that process back over so it's like if you're good at timing your jump shot and good at getting greens then go yeah shoot for getting green machine and you can you really don't need it that high green machine i would say just use it on silver bronze or silver that's all you really need for green machine now another good shooting badge another good shooting badge is rhythm shooter okay this is for the dribble heads out there if you like to combo up rhythm shooter is the best is the best badge for you this is the badge that was made for the dribble god the dribble gods out there this is your badge if you real cheesy this is the badge for you rhythm shooter increases the chance of a made shot after sizing up your opponent with dribble moves simple as that if you dribble a lot if you like to shoot off the dribble a lot and stuff like that rhythm shooter will help you get a great boost that is a slip on badge a lot of people don't use that badge a lot of people don't know about that badge but it's a great badge it's a great 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 badge now another badge is the volume shooter badge it really doesn't have any penalties so if you're like the main shooter the main scorer of your team the more shots that you take even attempt it's going to give you a boost to your attribute so it's really no harm in using volume shooter it's just going to consistently give you a boost to your shooting attributes the more you shoot the ball so if you are known for taking a lot of shots like if you're the guard or the main shooter on the team and stuff like that in the record of park then throw on volume shooting it's going to just help you and boost up your shot along the way in the game so yeah pretty much in my opinion these are the best shooting badges in the game nba 2k21 next gen now i will also say this for as far as primary shooting badges and secondary shooting badges i would say blinders deep threes hot zone hunter and hot shot should all be like primary shooting badges like on any build any build that you guys make or any build that you guys are playing on these should be your main focus like if you're grinding out a new build these are the first badges that you guys need to make sure that you get and the rest of these badges like corner specialist specialist and catch and shoot and rhythm shooter and stuff like that the rest of these badges should just be your secondary badges they just give you additional boost but these badges right here are the main ones these really are the main badges that you need 
to be able to shoot consistently on any any build guaranteed now that is pretty much it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope i helped you guys out make sure you leave a like comment down below subscribe to the channel if you are new and don't forget to hit that notification bell